Kelly, you can find him around. He's still around town. You know, when he first said, you know, pose nude. But then I thought, if I'm going to be a symbol of something, I'd rather have it sex than some other thing that got symbols <laughs> of. <laughs> See, that's the trouble. A sex symbol becomes a thing. Well, I... I just hate to be a thing. <laughs> I never felt I had an effect on people until I guess I was in Korea. I, I don't think until then, really, because um, studios that I worked with always said, remember one thing, you're no star. <laughs> Sometimes people want to see if you're real. They kind of look odd to you, towards you, for some kind of, uh, something that's, I guess, away from their everyday life. I guess you call that entertainment, huh? And we all lose our chance in the end. Oh, 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 in New York, you know, 57th Street. When I come out of the door, they say, Marilyn, hi, how do you feel this morning? You know, to me, it's an honor. At first, they whistle because, you know, they, they say, oh, it's a girl, she's got blonde hair, she's not out of shape. And then they say, my God, it's Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I'm just tugging on you all the time. They are. They are, and I don't want to sound paranoid, but they are. They don't like sort of a chunk, you know, somehow. I mean, they kind of take, like, pieces out of you. It's my eyes, I've got a little more time. Where are you going from here? Apparently nobody has been seriously hurt or maimed. You know, they're kind of grabbing pieces out of you. And gee, you know, you, you do want to stay intact, you know? On two feet. They want to know, like, uh, well, what is it like? Sometimes it's, it's nearly impossible. And there is a need for aloneness, which I don't think that most people realize for a creative person or an actress. It, it's almost having certain kind of secrets for yourself that you'll let the whole world in on. But, you know, there has to be those moments of privacy. I used to laugh so loud and so gay. I would ask the boys, I'd say, I said, can I ride your bicycle now? And they said, sure. And then I'd go so many, and I'd start to laugh in the wind, you know, riding down the block, laughing, you know. But I loved the wind because it felt like it caressed me. Fame is also a burden. An industry, I don't think, should behave like, let's say, a mother whose child maybe has, uh, let's say, let's just say the worst is run out in front of a car. So what do they do to the child? But start, instead of clasping the child to them, they start beating up on the child. So it's not just that, uh, okay, fame will go by. Uh, you know, so long, I, I, I've had you, fame. If it goes by, I told you it was fickle. <laughs> I was honored um, when they asked me to appear at Madison Square Garden. In the history of show business, perhaps there has been no one female who meant so much, who has done more. <laughs> <laughs> and then you think, my God, I'll sing this song. If it's the last thing I'll ever do, you know. Happy birthday.